church. Yeah. How come no church has ever gone from Genesis all the way to Revelation? Same people that probably taught you that Adam and Eve were the first ones here, right? Now, if that's the case, how do you account for the conversation between Cain and the Most High? Somebody give me that account. I'm going to show you something. Let, let, let's go off what Catholic, Catholic, Catholicism, Christianity, let's go off of what they teach you. They taught everybody that, hey, you know what? Adam and Eve were the first ones here. Now let's see if this makes sense according to the Bible where they supposedly had got this from. Read. Taken up. 
Was he baptized? No. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't knock if you get baptized, but you don't get any brown points toward the Most High for getting baptized. That's not how you get the king. Somebody yeah. give me Matthew 19 and 16. The book of Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Get out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what, what good thing shall I do that I might have eternal life? What Kim got to do that she's going to get to hell? Let's find out what Kim got to do. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. For if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. What Kim got to do? Keep the commandments. Now, you know how many commandments it is that you got to be keeping? Ten, right? Okay, well, let me show you something then. What? You said 10, because we was all taught that. You might give me the uh, Leviticus right quick. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. I'm going to give you a commandment. You let me tell me if this part of the 10. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, uh -huh. though he divide the hoof and be coven footed, yet he chew it not the cud, he is unclean to you. Now, is that part of the 10? This is my thing. So that's a commandment by God that you can't eat swine, you can't eat seeds. So that you know. Take it out! Oh, you, oh, you must be love bacon. So you love bacon and ham? Uh, no, I don't eat. I don't eat pork, but go ahead. I'll praise it. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hook, and be clothing footed, yet he chew it not the cud, he, he is unclean to you. Uh, now, nah, read, go, go to 9. Read 9. I gotta find out the sisters eat this now. You gotta find out the sisters. Verse 9. But we know how these, sisters are. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the water, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Be crab, sister. Read that again. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the water, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Does the crab have fins and scales? <laughs> what about your shrimp? Lobster. Lobster likes scales, I believe. Oh. I was thinking about the tail, but okay. No, no. that's that's skeleton. That's what he okay. had. You eat scallops and mussels and all that kind of crap. Scallops, not really. Uh, so let let not really be no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let it be no, because the Bible just gave you instructions. So right. all that you need to come out of water. What has fins and scales in the water? Okay. Bingo. Not the stinking slimy catfish, because that thing has no scale. All right. You know what I'm saying? Sea roach. Those are the things that you need to eat. You know what I'm saying? Because if we ask you a simple question, you're going to think it's, well, yes, we have a started question. Do you love God? How do you show the most out that you love him? Oh, wow. I mean, can, can you call him on the phone and be like, hey, you know what, God? Just thinking about you. I love you. <laughs> can you go in his inbox or send him an email? You can talk to him. Does he listen? Yeah. Somebody give me that. Oh, boy, here's, here's not the crab. Proverbs 20 to 9. Uh oh, what, what, what? Who's going to show you something? The Bible got answers to everything. Y'all are opening my eyes way too wide right now. Oh, praise oh, no, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm just playing. It's, yeah. It is a lot, though. Yeah. It's, Proverbs, it's one in Proverbs 20 to 9. Yeah. Let's think about this. I'm about to go home and read my Bible. <laughs> hey, 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 all praise. <laughs> you know, why the brother's looking for that precept? Are you trying to celebrate the New Year's tonight? Ask, be, be, be honest now, sister. I don't really celebrate the New Year's. But... Do you observe tonight as being coming into the New Year? Do you observe that? Do you acknowledge that? I mean, it's supposed to be New Year's, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. You said it's supposed to be. Yeah. Now, whose authority does it supposed to be the New Year? I mean, it's another celebration that the U.S. has put in, you know, on us. Now, 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 you seem to be a bright sister. Mm -hmm. Now, does it make sense for anything in the dead of one to grow? And then we call that a new year. Yeah. New means new beginning. Birth, rebirth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To be born again. You know what I'm saying? So, when, so take that into mind. Where would the new year start? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's what our people do. They like, celebrate the new year. No, you, you ain't no camera. You ain't no camera. Okay, okay, okay. It's straight on. It's straight on him. This book of John, chapter four, chapter nine, and verse thirty-one. Get out. Now we know that God hears not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth His will, him He hears. Now, He said that He don't hear the prayers of sinners. If any man worship the Most High and do His will, I'll listen to you. You know what the will of the Most High is? 
somebody give me that song 40 and 8. All praises. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. That's what his will is doing his law. Keep his commandments. So we should be striving every day to keep the commandments. So I know Kim ain't going to be too strong. Because she said she loved God. Right? 1 John 5 and 3. Somebody hold me give me 1 John 2, 3 and 4. It's the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is how Kim going to show God that she loved. That we keep his commandments. That she do what? That we keep his, his commandments. commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. They ain't hard to do. But now, if Kim get caught up in Catholicism, she keep that train of thought. You know what I'm saying? Read this in 1 John 2 and 3 and 4. It's the book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. Read. He that saith I know him. I keep, know God. I got a relationship with God. And keep it not his commandments. Is a liar. Is a what? Is a, a liar. liar. The Bible says if you say you know God, but you ain't keeping no commandment, the Bible calls you a liar. That's not the book of Kish. Mm. What's your name, King? Nashon. That's not the book of Nashon. What's your name, King? That ain't the book of Eleazar. Or the book of El... Uh, damn. Tomb. <laughs> <laughs> book. Moses. That's not their book. <laughs> this is what the Bible says. The Bible is calling you a liar. You know what I'm saying? So that, 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 that right there, you should be like, you know what? Spirit sent me over there to get that word. You know, it wasn't us calling you. It wasn't buck stopping you. The Spirit made your feet come over here. Do you believe uh, that, sister? I do, yeah. See? And what if I tell you is a scripture for that, too? It's for everything. Yeah, no matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because we truly love you. Like we were just having it out with the, um, the Hamites just before. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to dance around him keeping the, having to keep the commandments because he was trying to say that, well, what did Christ say? What are the two greatest commandments of them all? That you love God and you love your neighbor as you love yourself. Well, how, how do I show you that I love you? Mm. And how would I treat myself? Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 17, and it reads, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, or that sister. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him. That's how we show you that we love you, but not allowing you to stay in sin. Mm. That's how we show you, that, that, that's the true love that the Most High was talking about, that Yahweh shot, quoted from Leviticus. You love your neighbor as you love yourself, because you, you yourself shouldn't want to be an adulterer. A fornicator, a damn backslider, you know what I'm saying? A covetous person, a lascivious person. So if you don't want that for yourself, don't want it for your neighbor. And your neighbor is the neighbor of your people. It's not for damn Dan or Brad, the white man that's still on the side of you. It's not for damn Lo Mein, who ooh, ooh, damn do your toenails, and she talk about you while you're sitting there in Chinese. <laughs> the Bible's not talking about them. They're talking about the people on that sign right there, the Israelites. Right. Those are your neighbors. Right. If you're contrary to popular belief, Catholicism don't teach that God has a chosen people. He has a chosen people, and guess who it is? The Israelites, Deuteronomy 76. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. A what? Above, above all people, people that are upon the face of the earth. Separation right there. He said you above all people. So why would any of our people be sent in the Catholic Church with the so-called white man that's trying to teach them about the most high? When the, the Bible itself says that you above them. Why do I need to come down the ladder to love somebody who's beneath me? Because guess what? There's a, box, there's, there's a scripture for that, that person that's up there teaching you. What did you say you didn't say? Uh, uh, a pastor. You didn't say a pastor. Was the uh, pastor, whatever he was, was he white? Was he white? I've had multiple. Give me Isaiah, come on, give me Psalm 50 and 16. I'm going to show you what the Bible says about these people. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 50 and verse 16. 
But unto the wicked, God said, Why why hast thou to do to declare my statute? Or that thou should take so like my covenant in thy mouth. What y'all doing teaching my word? That's what he says to the wicked. What you doing with this Bible in your hand? You ain't got no business teaching my people. All those prophets that taught the word, they were Israelites. Jeremiah wasn't Mo a Moabite. Isaiah wasn't a damn Amalekite. These were Israelites that taught the Israelites. Mm -hmm. We learn from our own people. Right. As a matter of fact, give me that, give me that Deuteronomy 17 and 15. I think that's what I want. Says with the blind. We shouldn't even be dang on voting for people. Did you vote, sir? Now, let me ask you, how long have you been voting? Since you were 18. Now, through all that voting, sitting some should have came out right by now. <laughs> still, Marcy. There won't be no reason for us to still be talking about, hey, stop gunning us down in the street. Stop putting your knee on our neck. Treat us as an equal. We won't even be going through all that if voting works. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, and verse 13. Now, now, if any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose, I mean, um, thy God shall choose, one from thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. Is Biden your damn brother? <laughs> no. Who ran against him? I don't even know. Who ran against him? He ain't your brother either. Him. These people are not, well, the Bible said, don't you even be voting for these. Don't put these people above you. Oh, if, if he's the wicked, somebody give me a uh, joke now. If he's the wicked that the Bible speaks of, the only thing he can teach is the wicked. Why do you think we have alphabet community? You already know what I'm talking about, right? Huh? LGBT, RSGF, YZ, and all that stuff. Why would we have that? If the Bible speaks of, that's an abomination to the Lord. Why, we, why, why does America condone that? Why do, why do they push that now? Job 9 and 24. Right? It's the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. Who runs the earth right now? Who runs everything right now? Be real. Yo. Hey, we need to hear you say it, so we let you get away with shaking your head. head. Who is the wicked? Who's running the earth right now? What race of people? The Hebrew one that's got time. Look at this one. Talk about the Bible. Talk about the Bible. Black history. Jesus looked like this. Sound like you trying to put somebody above. No, he wasn't on white men with pale skin and blue eyes. He looked like this. You know what I'm saying? They don't see your face. Anybody got a voice like that? They don't know. We're going to be right here teaching if you want to come back. Listen. Now, would you fear the mix? You should fear the person that can take your life and your soul. That's the most high. He's the only one that can destroy your spirit. He's the only person. That's the only person you should fear. So once you start having faith like the Bible speaks of, like all these churches speak of, having faith in the most high, then you understand and you believe that you're under his wing of protection. Nothing can come through that head. Yeah, I struggle there. See, and, that, and that's, that's your faith got to be unwavering. See what I'm saying? Because that's how we got to be. And we're the last day, you see. Now, I, I see you exercise. I'm going to ask you a, a, a question. You can say it's rhetorical, but I want to give you some second time. Mm -hmm. Can you walk your way into the kingdom? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible says, to paraphrase, the exercise profits the body nothing, really. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I work out. There ain't nothing wrong with staying in shape. But don't let it consume you that. I'm not giving time, giving time to go into this word. You know what I'm saying? You say you're going to go home and read your Bible. How often do you read your Bible? Not enough. Because you just learned some things, right? And all that. But what version do you have at home? What version? Yeah. King James. All, all praise. praise. All praise. And that's what, that's what the brothers are reading from. Mm -hmm. So they're not giving you anything that's not in your Bible. Mm -hmm. It's the same Bible that's on Grandma Bessie's damn dress that's been sitting up for ages. You go lift it up and you see the ring that it left because dust all around it. You know what I'm saying? It's the same one that Pastor Pope Chop got in his church. Yeah, Pastor Pope Chop. Because when you get out of church, you go into the back of the church, and Sister Betty and put her damn neck bones in the damn collard green. They bring a damn ham from down to Christmas dinner. 
You got left over ham, y'all. Y'all come get a plate. When the Bible speaks against that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why we out here, sister. We tired our people, you know what I'm saying? First of all, think about this. If you don't know who you are, mm -hmm. nothing else can come out of that. I can I build a house starting with the second floor? What do I, what do I have to have first? Foundation. Mm. Your foundation starts with knowing who you are according to the Bible. That's right. You can't build off of that until you know who you are according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Somebody talking to you about salvation will do you no good if you don't know who you are according to the Bible. Yeah, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. You got to know who you are according to the Bible. And then I have to Sorry. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. No. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul? And to, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. That's what you got to do. You got to keep the commandments. You can't want to get to heaven. You can't got to keep the commandments. Right. You can walk all day long. You know what gives you life? Proverbs 7 and 1, 7 and 2. This is what gives you life. I know you see people that we call the Edomites, that's the so-called white man. You see some of them walking around, humped over, trying to make it, you know, doing their little exercise, you know what I'm saying? As soon as they smoke a cigarette, they're done. You know what I'm saying? Can't stop. See what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I want you to see what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? That's how the spirit is. The spirit bring it right to you. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. And do what? And, and live. live. That's how you feel. Keeping the commandments. You know what I'm saying? Don't get caught up like the heathen. You know what I'm saying? They think they're going to walk their way. First of all, they think that God is for them. Did you know that God hates them? Romans 9 13. Did you know the whole book of Obadiah? That whole book is dedicated to the destruction of the so called white man. The book of Obadiah. This is the Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Bring it out. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God said he just hate somebody. But Esau have I hated. You gotta hate Esau. That's, that's God. Yeah. 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 It's, it's like, it's like, it was written in Malachi. Give me that in Malachi. It was written in Malachi first. So that's how we know that the Old Testament and the New Testament go together. You can't do one without the other. Mm -hmm. Because the, old, the New Testament quoted from the Old Testament. Right. Ain't no such thing as, oh, you read it from the Old Testament. Christ read from the Old Testament. <laughs> this is the book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 3. And I hated Esau. And I what? And, and I, I hated Esau. Esau. Read. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. They whole heritage is going to be laid waste. Right. He's going to destroy them. I mean, that's the one race that's going to be exterminated. exterminated. I don't know. The other nations are going to be allowed to go back into the kingdom, but not into the kingdom, but to their homeland to serve the Israelites. But on Esau, after his thousand years, <laughs> guess what? Get get the toast, bro. He's gone. Ain't no more walking your dog. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be that, that, that. done for. That's going to be done for. Ain't, ain't going to be no more of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't going to be that jolliness that all of them have. Like so. Walk around chipper all day long. Over the past. I... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, no. yeah. What's, your, what's your nationality, sister? Where you go? Yeah. All right, that's a try. That's right. I'm praying. You're the tribe of Israel. That's right. That's right. Now, that's right. now don't forget now, there's an angel standing next to Kim recording what you said. I'm going home and reading my Bible. So the angel going to follow you. So when you get there, talking about, you know, the nigga talking about, I can't use my prayer. I got a bed in there. I'm going to go get this old bed and don't eat that. Don't do it. Throw him away. Temptation. Any pork? 
any crustacean that you have in your refrigerator, throw it away. Don't give it to any Israelite. Mm -hmm. Can't give it, well, I'm gonna give it to my sister, you know what I'm saying? She, she don't really believe in the Bible, but I'm gonna give it to her. No, you can't be that. You give it to her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You give it to her. But no, nobody from my, nobody from the nation of Israel. Throw it away, sister. Fish at home, but <laughs> fins and scales. You gotta have fins and scales. And you gotta get some of these. What is that? Number 1538. Hey, hey, hey. Can the sister come over here for a second? One of the new sister don't yeah, got them. That river in the blue, read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout the generation. How long? Throughout the their generation. generation. As long as you're generating and having kids, Israelites should be walking around with fringes on right now. And because you asked us, well, what is that? That lets us know you haven't seen anybody walking around with these on. Right? And we are the Israelites from here to this day. Neighbor, man. You said you watch the generation. Why? Throughout the generations, and then they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, uh -huh. and it shall be unto you for a friend that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. That's why you got to get yourself. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. 5. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. You got to give you this one. You got to give you these commandments now. Because we love you. We can't just let you walk off without knowing this. But we don't know if you're going to cover this tonight. This is the book of Deuteronomy, <laughs> chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So, you know, yeah, and so, I'm going to tell you something. If we weren't men of the Most High, how you dressed right now would be a stumbling block to what we think. You would be busting out. I said a woman should be in modest apparel. She should be dressed with shame face. I don't want anybody to see my feet. That's only for my husband. Now when you get home, you put on your whatever's and your whatever's, you know what I'm saying? Dance for him and do all that's for him. You know what I'm saying? But for a lot of these wicked jakes out here, they don't tell them what they're doing. If somebody's supposed to get in the bathroom, you know what oh, I'm man. saying? Hey. Hey, that's what they're doing. <laughs> And all you did in your mind, you said, well, I haven't done anything but just put on my clothes and went right. But his mind took it from there. Mm -hmm. He got you at the house. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even cook you no dinner. Mm -hmm. He done went straight to business. You know what I'm saying? And you love these brothers enough to, hey, I'm not, I'm not going to create a stumbling block for you. You can get it to work. Love me according to my spirit. Mm. Want, me, want me according to my spirit, not according to what you see. Uh, I could be a wicked ass Jezebel underneath is what you see. Get you home and kill you. Mm. Have you serving pagan gods? Have you putting up Christmas trees? Because I know Kim didn't put down up this year, did he? Yeah. <laughs> Bible got, got all the answers. Literally. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and verse 1. Yeah. Verse 1. You still got the Christmas tree up? I do. No, you're going to go home. You're going to burn it after this. <laughs> Verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. What's that Christmas tradition? Learn, learn not the way of the heathen. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. Uh, what? Are vain. vain with a penny. Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. What they did with the Christmas tree? One I cutteth cut a out tree of out of the, the forest. forest. How did they get the Christmas tree? Cutteth cut a, a tree out of the forest. forest. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They did. 
deck it with silver and with gold. What Mr. Kim did to Huck Street? They, they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must need be born. Stop right there. Did you realize you, you, you was worshiping a, 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 um, a pagan god when you did that? No. Yeah, that, that, that has a meaning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got kids. When you sent your kids to the Christmas the tree, they bow down to get that present. Guess what they did? They bowed down to that pagan god. It was set up like that. And I know what you know in that. But it's always going to hit it with the stick. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people go, well, I just do it for the kids. I just did it. I love my kids. I, just, I don't really believe in it, but I just did it for them. What did you most high say? If you love father, mother, daughter, or son more than me, you're not worthy of me. And I know you love your kids. And you want your kids to get the kingdom. And they're worshiping pagan uh, um, idols, gods, and traditions will keep you from the kingdom, take it away from you. Make, make, make something festive out of it. Hey, y'all, guess what we finna do? We finna burn this damn tree. I don't know if you know you use that word, but we finna burn the tree. Let's have some fun burning the tree. And we're not gonna put it up no more. We're not gonna be talking about 10, 9, 8, 7. Count down the day when the New Year ain't gonna even start. Don't have them watching damn NBC. Talking about the ball about to drop in the wheel. Uh, go out there and pop some firecrackers. Hold up some sparkles. Put the shades on. 2023. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that, see? That's what the Bible talks about. That's, that's sacrificing your kids. That's throwing that. That's, that's, that's putting them in the fight. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Help your kids get that salvation. Well, I mean, point them in the right direction. Because contrary to popular belief, that road that we travel on to get the kingdom is this big. It's only big enough for one person at a time. On one side, there's deep water, and on the other side, there's fire. I know you know where that is, Sarah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think it's wrong with that. Where's that? Second, second, second edge. edge. Yeah, it's locked. That's how, that's how wide that road is. Mm -hmm. You can't be turning around, grabbing nobody. Come on, Auntie Betty. You gotta do what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? When you turn around, you done stepped off. You done know, fell in either the fire or the deep water. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's the book of Second Edge, chapter 7 and verse 8. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could be but one man go there at once. That's it. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, it's on that car and it's on a new flight. Facebook, your Facebook. That's good. Huh? I gave him one. If it hadn't been for social media, this world won't be getting out at the magnitude that it's coming out. No, no, I'm just saying, I'm saying, so there are some good things about social media. Now you don't get on there and all the foolishness and the folly, some of the latest challenge and all this kind of crap and all the other mess that they be doing. Nah, the most I know what he was doing. Yeah, I'm gonna, you're gonna use this device to get my word. Because see, there's gonna be a family of the word coming soon, so you're not, right. to, you're not gonna be able to find the brothers out here bringing out the word. Technology gonna be gone, so you won't be able to go on YouTube to see the video. So you gotta get the word now, Rock yeah. 5 and 7. You gotta come back now. Because then he say, I'll come to you like a thief in the night. Somebody ever broke in your house before? You know anybody who house got broken into? Did the thief call them and told them, hey, I'll be there at 323 tonight and I'm going to break in your house. Did he call them and tell them? So guess what? Price ain't going to let you know when he's coming to get you. But when your numbers call, you want to be finding this stand. Read. The book of Sirach, the 5, verse 7. Bring it out. Make your standing to turn to the Lord. And, and put not all of them day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Just when you think everything is running smooth, that's when I'm coming to get you. Just when you know, I got everything going my way. I got that promotion. 
Just got my new house, you know what I'm saying? I got my car. Guess what? Come on, Kim. Let's go. Hey, can't call time out. Time out, you house shot. Who the world called Jesus? Time out. Time, time out. I ain't get a chance to keep no commandment. All right, I have to go back. Read your Bible. Yeah, I will definitely. I will. All right. Thank you. The most I'm gonna hold you to it, not us. Yeah. I'll pray. And we thank you for stopping by. Thank you. No, we thank you. Because as we teach, you know what I'm saying. We sharpen ourselves. So right, 33 and 17. We, we, it ain't just for the people that we see. You know what I'm saying. It's for us too. Yeah. Iron shot off in iron. We learn from each other. Dave, each camp. We hear brother. Oh, man, that's, that's somebody. That's right. I like that. We learn from each other. Read that. Book of Sirach, 33, verse 17. Consider that I labor not for myself only, but for all them that seek le learning. All us seek learning. So we learn from each other. And the people that stop by and actually want to get this word. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why we labor. That's why we spend the, the night studying. You up in the morning, you read it. You know what I'm saying? You had a phone conference where the brothers on, on, on conference with each other going on over time. You know what I'm saying? That's why we do this. So when we come out and we meet our people and they have questions, we better answer them according to the Bible. And the sister, you can ask us no questions. Now, none, no questions. You don't want to take for granted that you know everything that you need to know. I mean, because we cover some things that you should have been, you should have been like, where they say that at? Tell me where they said it at. That God has a chosen people only. And he ain't dealing with nobody else. He told me. Yeah. Okay. You leave now. You start reading now. I'm going to read it. Read it. We thank you for coming Hi, by. Sister. Thank you. Really. Say, sister. Right. What the brother did when he tried to watch this video? Thought I was finna hit him with the stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he said? Yeah. He went trying he to hear. He still kept walking. He went trying to hear. I told him I put the stick down. Okay, now see so this go back to what I was saying about faith. Either you trust in the most high or you don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's plain upon tape. You know what I'm saying? The most high can't stop a stick from hitting you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He can't put his spirit and his will on you there, you know. I'ma stay your hand and you're not gonna hit this brother with the stick. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you fighting with the most. Oh, I got to hit him. I got to hit him with the stick. You know what? I'm... That's madness. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, you know, and we know a lot of what we get into, or what we what we see out in the streets, man. It, it, it's a product of Christianity. Yeah. We know that. You know what I'm saying? Christianity is worse than crack. I, I mean, it is. You know what I'm saying? Our people had this preconceived notion of what the word is about. So the first thing they see when they see Bible, they see brothers bringing the word out, they think it's there, somebody sitting out in church and listen to that jack leg ass preacher talk a bunch of fathers. Father. You know what I'm saying? And foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah 56 and 10. They get ready to celebrate all their foolish and fathers. Right now, y'all can hear the music in the background. Yeah, we hear it. You know what I'm saying? Here. The book of Isaiah, chapter 56 and verse 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. They are sleeping. The pastor can't even warn our people, don't be going celebrating talking about no damn new year. He can't even warn them. Why? Because he already got his firecrackers and stuff ready to pop him the damn self. He in front of the damn crowd talking I'm gonna leave this off and, and you know what he's gonna be wicked enough to me let's just have a prayer let's, let's pray let's pray <laughs> to God before we pop the crowd you know what I'm saying that's how wicked it is that's how lost we are like the most high gonna be at damn in New York you know what I'm saying with his damn 2023 hat on watching the damn ball come down and we try to bring him into this madness man You gotta look like that armor. Well, it's coming. 
he reaped. Yeah, they are all greedy dogs, which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. Right? They all look to their own way, every one for his gain from his quarter. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. Come out, we'll take a pimple crown, go into church, and just get tore up. That strong drink. We know it's not talking about a literal um, wine, but yeah, some of them being that drunk. We talk about those doctrines. You know what I'm saying? Look at them. They're gathering themselves together. They're gathering themselves together. You know what I'm saying? To celebrate these pagan holidays, man. You know what I'm saying? They know that this is their celebration. They know it. Who's more cold-hearted? You know what I'm saying? Who, who, who's unforgiving and, un, and has no feelings? These same people that's been the worship thing on uh, New Year's Eve tonight. Right. We want out to start in, 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 in the winter. Because we cold. We like that. Because we know when that song come up during the spring and the summer, we got to go and hide. Right. That's how we know y'all wasn't there. We know y'all ain't the people of the Bible. Right. Hello. You know hey, brother, you got two minutes, brother. Two minutes. You can pull it out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, for example, man. You can't no man walk around Jerusalem 30 some years. Yo. Now. You can't do it. You got two minutes, brother. Yeah. <laughs> hey. We all, we know how it is. We ain't got time. We know that's the spirit. Now, we pray that the most I open up their mind one day and they come back and they get this word. But right now, maybe it's not your time. Northern Kingdom, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's not your time. You know what I'm saying? For whatever reason, the most I have saw inside of you, hey, look. Nah, you don't need to get it right now. What's going on? What up, brother? Come on, get this word, man. What you got going on here? Oh, you got this number, the good word, man. That's oh, it. Oh, word. Yeah. That's the Lord right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we just. Well, your response, you know, you believe in the Bible. Oh, yeah, dude. One percent. I'm spiritual. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. What, 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 what's spiritual? What makes you spiritual? Atheist, man. I don't feel like it. Just into astrology, you know, feeling myself, meditation, so forth. Okay, I'm going to tell you one thing you said that was good. You said Native American. <laughs> <laughs> But the astrology and the meditation, oh, I tell you what, you do need to meditate, but what do you meditate on? Somebody give me that song. Mm. Oh, man. The meditation is part is right, but you got to meditate on the right thing. That's true. Book of Psalms, chapter uh, 1 and verse 2, it says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Meditate on the law. Meditate on the word of the most high. Right. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. can't be going in, you know, sitting in the yoga, in the yoga stance with your on your sage burning and looking up at the, the sky and you took some rock and <laughs> pull them down and looking down with yeah. yeah, this right here says this and that says that. No, we don't you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now do you know that you being a native American? Yeah, you're right. What's up, brother? You know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. God has a chosen people, man, and it's not everybody. Uh, yeah, there you go, Paul. Paul Frazier, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Look at that sign right there. Look at that sign. You want a God's chosen people, man. That's right. You go to church, King? I need to. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you, don't. you don't need to go. Because you ain't going to learn nothing about what you got to learn right now. Okay. You call yourself a Native American. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that in the Bible? God never called you a Native American. So who authorized some man to call you a Native American? Who came up with that? The Native Americans didn't even call themselves Native Americans. Yeah, exactly. You know what they called themselves? Israelites. Right. Because they knew who they were. Wow. Yeah. The Bible even tells you how your people got here. Did you know that? You let us correct. I want to record this. Yeah. I need to hear this. Yeah, your Bible, the Bible says, Describes how your people got to be in this country. It's the book of Second Edges, chapter thirteen, and uh, it says, uh, I'm starting verse forty. 
It says, Though we find it verse 39. And where it is thou saw it, that he gathered another piece of the multitude unto him, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea, the king whom Solomon, Solomon saw, the king of Assyria, led captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so they came to another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth unto a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might there keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land. That's what you no people decided, hey, once they came out of Syria captivity, hey, Lord, send us somewhere where we can worship you without the influence of the heathen. And he sent them to this country. He took them at the time of a year and a half to keep them. Read that. So we see. We, we, we. All right. And they enter into Euphrates by the narrow passage of the river, for the Most High did show signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a, and a half in the same region it's called Athens. That's what this country was called. Your people been here. Think about it. Where do you think this came from? The French. Yeah. They had already been keeping this before they got here. All right. We already had this during the time of Moses. That's how long we've been wearing French at the time of Moses. And Moses was before the Assyrian captivity. This is when we first came out of Egypt. Your people came out of Egypt. In the song Arsenal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is an image of Arsenal. <laughs> what that look like. Hey, what the map like? What state that look like? What map that look like? It's like Florida. That look like Florida right there, right? Yeah. But that whole thing is not a state. That's, they used to call this place Arsenal, like you're reading in the Bible. It wasn't always called call them there. So that's yeah. Arsenal. That's where y'all people came. Tell me more about it a little bit. Oh, so crazy. Your people came here so they could worship the people of the That's right. And then when they start thinking about all those things that they got from the Assyrian captivity and from the damn Egyptian captivity, they start worshiping the higher gods again. And the most I see the Spaniards over here. So that's how that's what happened to your people. The Spaniards came over. Yeah, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Most High sent them to be his sword, to you know, his punishment for breaking God's word. Y'all ask me to see y'all somewhere. I seen you way over there, and you still do the same damn thing. Guess what? I'm gonna send somebody to you as swift as an eagle fly. You never do the wrong for me. I'm gonna send somebody to you as swift as an eagle fly. They're gonna come over there and they're gonna get y'all. And where y'all are. We I ain't gonna say y'all, we were a mightier people. Just like our forefathers when they got here on the slave ship. Mm. You think 200 damn strong Hebrew Israelites could take a damn plantation with just 10 white people on them? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's the most high hand dealing yeah. with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was his hand. You got that? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. You know, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. They came all the way from down Spain. Wow. And you know how they found out that you that y'all was here? Uh, uh, Christopher Columbus. Yeah, I don't like that. They read the Bible. <laughs> I don't like that. Y'all yeah, like him either. Find out that y'all came here. Yeah. That's, That's how he found out. Back at the eagle, he talking about. So the camera came. Yeah, he might well showing the pyramid too. The eagle, yeah. yeah. Spiritual like, Egypt, what man. What does the American dollar do with the, 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 the pyramid, uh, 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 Egyptian pyramid on? Why would the American dollar have that on? They want control. Just to remind you that you're still in captivity. Mm. Egypt was our first captivity. Wow. On that dollar bill, it's showing you the first captivity and the last captivity. Mm. That's what it's showing you. Yeah. What that dollar saying is, don't get it twisted, nigga. You still in captivity. You still mm. in slavery. Mm. Mental slavery. Hey, mm. I can take the shackles off for you now. Okay. I already know what you're going to do. But you like when you get a dog and you put that chain on him, every time he cross the line, you hit him. 
Every time you cross that line, you hit him and you bring him back. You hit him and you bring him back. How you doing, sister? After a while, you can even take the leash off of him. And we give you a flight, sister? He's not going to go past that line anymore yeah. because he's been indoctrinated. He know if I go across the line, I'm going to get my ass popped. Mm -hmm. Same thing with us now. We still in captivity. All they did was extend the plantation. Mm -hmm. Because he said once, give me that in 48. Once I take the damn the yoke, the yoke of iron off of your neck, once it's gone, you're going to be completely destroyed. You're going to start calling yourself damn Native Americans, Afro-American, Black. Mm. You're going to be completely destroyed. You're not going to be wearing fringes anymore. You're going to be keeping the damn stupid ass, what is it? <laughs> New Year. It's New Year. Yeah. You're going to be doing that. I walk around like this, brother, destroyed. See? Do you think the men, the, the men of the Lord walked around like that in Jerusalem? Yeah, yeah. With the blind hat, man. Yeah, but we can't go in the streets. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I see. Completely destroyed. It's embarrassing. Did you buy that, brother? Yeah, did you buy that? Yes. You that? Okay. Who you got it from? Uh, I went there in Nazareth. Oh, okay. The thing about it is, today is a Sabbath day. You familiar with the Sabbath day? Yes, sir. Give me that. There's a lot of information. Like, All like, praises, man. I'm, I'm, I feel I feel so good, like. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the spirit, man. You yeah. Trying to bear witness to the truth. I need to. Because not everybody it. comes here well, to hear the same word that you're hearing. Not everybody feel good about it. Well, the thing is, it's like I'm so open to knowing stuff. That's oh. the spirit trying but to bear witness. But I don't always go find it. I actually let it come to me because I feel like everything happens for a reason. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Everything everything is of the Most High. Read that. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy maidservant, nor thy, nor thy manservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is, and the seventh and the rest, like and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So, can't be doing anything on the Sabbath day, bro. You know what I'm saying? No buying, no selling, no cooking, no cleaning, really? none of that. It's, it's, it's a holy day. It's a holy day. The Most High said, "This is this is my day." Wow. You think about this. He's saying, if I can rest. You should better sit your butt down the rest. Mm. Aren't we the ones always talking to the at the job? Man, you mess me up. Yeah, no, that's true. Man, they need to give you <laughs> some more days off. What the most oh, I man. gave you days off? Mm. And we can't even sit our ass still and honor him. Yeah. I got to go do something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And read that. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. <laughs> and if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we should not buy it of them on the Sabbath come day. Come on, brother. Y'all come on back and get this word, Or man. on the holy day. Hey, that's cool. Like I said, everybody not going to get it. It ain't for everybody. You already, you already said that? I'll be here all what day. He said? <laughs> huh? What he said? Oh, not, not him. Oh. Like, you know he said? Oh, yeah. Read that again, too. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse oh, 31. If the people of the land bring wear of any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we should not buy it of them on the Sabbath. Or on the holy day. No, you ain't no buying of stuff. Yeah. Mm. That's how important this is, man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? We out here bringing out the word on this day. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's a good thing. You how a child of the word, he literally calls Jesus Christ. He went into the synagogues on the Sabbath day and he taught the word. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now, that synagogue was a building, but we know through teachings and, 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 and um, see how a child, where two or three are gathered in my name, there he is among them. Mm -hmm. This is the church now. This is wow. the church right now. You know what I'm saying? You in the synagogue right now. And we're bringing out his word right now. Right. We're going to show you how you keep the Sabbath day. Mm. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the mm. holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. Then shalt thou, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord. 
and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth and mm. feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, thy father. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. He spoke it. Wow. So we can't be doing our own thing on the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you right. got to do what pleases the most high. And you know what pleases the most high? What? Doing his will. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the will is of the most high? She don't. You know. 48. She still consider me her friend. Grandma Pepsi loves me so much. And mom loves me. What's your name? My name is Kai. Kai. I can't hear you now. I know you're cool now. You got to talk about I can hear you now. My name is Kai. I still can't hear you. My name is Kai. Kai? Yeah. Spell that from the time. I'll make sure I'm pronouncing it right. K. I. Oh, Kai. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kai. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yeah. Thy law is within my heart. We like keeping the laws of the Most High. That's, mm. it, that's the will of the Most High to keep the commandments. That's all He's requiring of us. Wow. That's the you know, Ecclesiastes 12 13. That's all, that's all that He wants us to do. He didn't put us here to be the best running back. The next best three point shoot, I'm going to break Steph Curry record. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be the CEO of this company. He didn't put us here for that. You know what I'm saying? He put us here to serve out these curses and it's um Keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Read. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let's conclude. Let's sum it all up. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's what your duty is. That's your whole duty is to keep the commandments. That's the only way. You say you felt you were spiritual. You know, you got the spirit in you. Mm. The spirit will be saying, okay, what do I need so that my spirit will last forever, that my spirit will be in the kingdom? Don't you want your spirit to be in the king? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what it means your spirit to be in the king? That's why you don't need to go to church. Because mm. they won't teach you this. Read that. The book of Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, what came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I might have eternal life? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Mm. What can I got to do? Keep, Keep the, the commandments. commandments. Wow. That's the only way. And there's more than ten. Right. This more than ten. You look at all the brothers with these fringes on. Mm. It's a commandment by God to have these on. Get beat by Damn. And if you don't have these on, guess what? You're in sin. Mm. You're transgressing God's law. Mm. So you know what sin is, right? Yeah. What, what do you think sin is? Like? This part. It's going against the God. God's, God's uh, uh, will is uh, hey, hey, is uh, hey, hey, is the. Keeping the law. We want to read it for you. First John three and four. It's the book of First John chapter three verse four. Bring it out. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Mm. Whenever you break God's law, you're in sin. I don't with my friend. I'm in sin. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They're Americans. Yo, people. Oh, yeah, they got the friends around Yeah, them. bro. They always had the friends around Yeah. So, we got to come back to who we are. Not yeah, exactly, man. I think we the same, we're the same people. We're the same people. Man. No, I believe you. We're gonna, we're gonna I, give you I see it. Not the even book just... Book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto Cap. To the children of Israel, uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment throughout their generation, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, mm. and it shall be unto you for a fringe, that you may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them, and that, and that you seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which you used to go a whoring. See, a lot of our people seek after their own heart. I don't need to stop and listen to that. I already know about God. I got God in my heart. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. Is that what I want? This is the for my heritage. Uh-uh. The heart is definitely yeah. wicked. Yeah, Jeremiah 17 and 9. Jeremiah 17 and verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things mm -hmm. and desperately wicked. And what? Wow. And desperately wicked. wicked. Who can know it? can't even know your own heart. Your heart will always lead you to do something that you ain't got no business doing. Walking away from
from the word of the most or the most mm. So how are you celebrating Father Day? Following behind the heat, doing what they do. Following after your own heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's not according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because when we start following after our own heart, what happens is, somebody give the Isaiah 20, uh, 29 and 13. When you start following after your own heart, this is what happens. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw, me, draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Mm. They're not in with the most high. Think about it. Who, who more than us always Lord to say, Oh, I love God. Oh, I believe in Jesus. Oh, Jesus' name. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. That's what's always doing it. And the Bible says, yeah, with y'all mouth, yeah, y'all honor me with your mouth. Y'all always talking about I love God and I do this and I do that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But your heart, your mind, and your actions are far from me. You don't do nothing that I say do. Yeah. You a stiff neck and hard-headed people. You rebellion. We've been since the beginning like that. We've always been like that. If we weren't like that, there would be no need for the book to hold the Bible. There wouldn't be no need for the prophets to come out and speak to Israel. Isaiah 58 and 1, somebody. Isaiah would never had to say, he would never have gotten this instruction from the Most High. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Cry aloud, fear not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. They've been sinning since the time of Isaiah, man. Even before then. As soon as they brought their ass out of Egypt, what are we going to do? Build two damn golden cows talking about, oh, they brought us out of Egypt. How wicked is that? You don't see the most high. Split the damn Red Sea. Put all the plagues on Egypt. And then as soon as you get your ass in the wilderness, you're going down, build you two golden calves, <laughs> talking about, hey, they're the ones brought us out of Egypt. That's crazy. Now, if the cow brought you out of Egypt, why can't it move his ass off that pedestal? Mm. He can't even move. Oh, oh. You got to pick him up and take him somewhere. <laughs> if the Israelites would be like, hey, y'all, let's go. They can look back at that calf, hit a stem and send his ass right there. <laughs> Can't even move unless you pick it up. Mm. Why can something like that deliver you? That's no different than I'll be walking around with a cross on it. That's true. Walking around the Kabbalah stone, you know what I'm saying? Praying on the damn big ass rock. Where ain't nobody looking, you don't win a chip of peace. Put it in your pocket, now you take it home, put it on your shelf, and you put incense around it. Don't worship it, I, I got a lot of Kabbalah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You guys like have like your own like spot? Him, uh, Luke 14, Luke. Like, I'm gonna show you why I spotted it. Okay. This is the book Luke, chapter 14, uh, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. We got again. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. That's where we go. That's, that's our place. You just go everywhere. You know what the spirit is, uh, man. You know, he, he never said, post up in the church. He said, go out to the highway just in the head. Uh, Compare my people to come in. That's right. Hey, you can come by. You ain't got to walk over the Come on by. Guatemala. Oh, yeah, Guatemala. I don't know what you said, but come on. Zebulon. So you said, hold it for me. Guatemala is the name. They gave y'all that name. Y'all got conquered by the uh, Spanish conquest. That's right. But y'all really from the tribe of Zebulon. Brother Zebulon. Teacher. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh. Guatemala to Panama. Yeah. That's right. Y'all God's yeah. chosen people. That's uh, right. That's right. That's that's right. Northern Kingdom over listening, man. Three on. Yeah, la tribu de Zebulon. So, so y'all believe in the Bible, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, I'll praise Absolutely. I'll praise y'all understand? Praise the Lord. No, praises. Man, in praising the Lord, how do we praise the Lord? In all our hearts. With all our heart, all deep inside. With all our soul, soul. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do the Rhyme 10 and 12. I'm gonna show you how you praise the Lord. 
Because we do everything by the book now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, that's how we get started. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's how people, people for real. Says, correct? Exactly. Let's find out what the book says. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Now, the only way we, can, the way we praise the Most High and we show him that we love him is to keep his commandments. Right. And we were just letting the brother know there's more than ten commandments. Did y'all know that? Y'all know it's more than more than ten commandments. Can I ask y'all something? Yes. Do y'all eat pork? Sometimes. I do not for health reasons. Oh praise. No. That's a, that, that's a good thing, but we don't want it to be well, it's just for health reasons. We want you to stop eating pork because God said don't eat. Right. That's a commandment by God. We're gonna show you this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse 9. Bring it out. These shall ye Seven. eat. Seven. Let's lock it, my man. Let's lock it. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he chewed not the cud, he is unclean unto you. He's unclean. You can't be eating pork. Let it go. So if you got some pork at the house, don't go, be, don't, don't go back to the house and tell me, well, make me a big pot of gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Put it all up and eat it. You know what I'm saying? Throw it away. Don't eat it. Because you don't know when the Most High is going to call your number. You know what I'm saying? And see, he knows our, our innermost thoughts. He's like, okay, she thinks she's going to be slick. And going to go ahead and cook all her pork. As soon as she put the spoon to her mouth, her head going to go in the bowl. Mm. <laughs> Kill you just like that. You know what I'm saying? But did, did you know that when Christ comes back, he's going to kill those people that are eating pork? Well, he said, the Bible says that No, 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 no. If that's the case, give me Ephesians 5 and 3. Let's find out. Six and six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what she just said is going to have me go into this right here. Ephesians, yeah, nah. Ephesians, Ephesians 5 and 3. All right. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 3. Check it out. But fornication. In all uncleanness and what? In all, all uncleanness and what? In yeah, all, all uncleanness, uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you. You can't no 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 form of uncleanness because nobody can take a clean thing and make it clean. Uh, that's in Job fourteen and four. Come on, let me get that. Job fourteen and four. And then come on, let me get Isaiah sixty five. I mean sixty six. Yeah. Job 14 and 4. The book of Job, chapter 14, verse 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Nobody can take something that the most I deem to be unclean and make it clean. When Christ came, he didn't do that. So think about this now. If Christ did that, then we wouldn't have this scripture. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden behind one tree, in the midst, eating swine's flesh. Eating what? Eating, eating swine's flesh. flesh. Eating what? Eating, eating swine's flesh. flesh. Uh-huh. And the all abomination praises. of the mountains shall all be praises. consumed together, says the Lord. The Lord said, when I send my son back, those that have been here going around, sanctify themselves and purify themselves, talking about I can do this and I can do that, justify themselves with their mouth. If they be found eating swine's flesh and all the other abominable foods and following all those other false doctrines, I'm going to put them to death. So let you know, Christ never said that we can eat pork. Because if he did, he won't be coming back to kill the people that was eating. Right. That would be contradicting itself. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking about John. Remember with John and Paul, uh -huh. there was an issue with the church because uh, the Jewish wanted the Gentiles to become Jewish and circumcised. So they went to a, uh, to look at that, to that issue and then they said about Gentiles, 
We looking at him. We looking at him. Now, you have to understand that Gentile has two meanings. Okay. One meaning of Gentile is those Israelites, which remains the northern kingdom, these people from Ephraim on down, they were living like the rest of the nation. So the southern kingdom was calling them Gentiles, meaning that you're living just like the heathen. So when Paul went to the Gentiles, he was actually going to Israelites. He was going to the northern kingdom. See, when you go into Paul, one thing you have to understand about Paul, see, Peter, you know, Peter was the rock of the church, right? Mm -hmm. Now, he was Paul's homeboy. He was his type, type friend. To that, to that year was All right. You need to shake, you need to shake my right hand, brother. Hey, be safe, brother. Hey, hey, yes, sir. Hey, man. You too, man. Hey, look at that. my YouTube. My YouTube on there is Obadiah. It's, it's, the, it's the last one. Oh, look into it, most of That's the one I be posting on. And look into it, man. Cause, you know, like you said, you very humble, brother. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of information out here. So, hey, we're spreading that truth, brother. I want to see you. That's you why I'm so open, because it's like, I'm not, I'm not looking for it. I feel like everything should happen for a reason. Right. And when that reason comes, like, you should be so humble about right. it. Humble. Because, like, when you're, when you're searching and chasing for so long, you don't realize what matters. Right. So, like, I just stay humble. So worship I, the God right. of my so father, like this matters believing so. all and that's the spirit that you stop right here, because the Lord brought you right here. And you didn't have to, it's so many people that walk by here and they keep going, that don't stop. But the Lord chose you and the sister and brothers and the children to stop right here, man. Out of all these people. You know, so that's the beautiful thing. So the, hey, it's a sign. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a sign. That's why I'm humble. I just you write a letter to somebody, and I try to learn from it and learn from my mistakes and Right. And get better. Get if you right, write a letter you know, to that's me, that's the only thing we can do, brother. And it comes you know what I'm saying? Learn from our, our mistakes and get to better. And, and grow. Yeah, 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 like, like we ain't perfect. Admit, I always admit to So when you read oh, Paul's epistle, that's, that's, that's beautiful, man. It's just strong, man. It do. You read Paul's letter at the beginning of each one of his letters, he's telling you who he's talking to. Definitely. Yeah, man. I love you, brother, man. Stay up, man. Stay up. You have a great holiday. You too, man. Keep you up. A lot of violence. A lot of violence, man. You're right. Stay, stay prayed up, Kim. All right. Let's find out some of the things that Paul believed. Read that. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, and verse 23. Truly, in vain is salvation hoped for from the hill and from the multitude of the mountain. Truly, in the Lord, truly, in the Lord, our God is the salvation of Israel. So if Paul believed that salvation was only for the Israelites, why would he teach anybody else? Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taken up the isles as a very little thing. Keep going. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, Keep going. nor the beast that runs sufficient for a burnt offering. Read. All nations before him are as, as nothing. nothing. Or as what? Or, or as, as nothing. nothing. What about those Gentiles outside of the Israelites? Or, or as, as nothing. nothing. They are nothing. Paul wouldn't have went to anybody outside of Israel. Now, to show you that that's true, I'm going to show you something. The last book of the Bible. The very last book. Revelation. I'm going to show you something. Give me Revelation 21 and 12. First, give me our 21 and 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 1. Get out. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Uh huh. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Now, let's go down and see. This John the Revelator, remember? He was on the island of Patmos. He got exiled there. And he was being shown some things by the angel. And he said, I saw a new heaven coming down. Because heaven's going to be here on earth. Ain't nobody going to be living up in the clouds. That's Christianity teaching. The Bible don't tell you that. Heaven is going to be right here on earth. That's right. In Jerusalem. All right. Our homeland, your homeland, our homeland. We're going back there. Right. Now, we're going to show you what, what John saw because he wrote what he saw, right? Read. And uh, verse 12, it had a wall great and high. Heaven had a wall great and high. Had 12 gates. How many gates? 12, 12 gates. gates. So one pearly gate like Christianity. 12, 12, 12 gates. 12 gates. Read. And at the gate, 12 angels. Uh-huh. And the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So how do you fit your Gentiles in? 
He has no way for him to get in. John wrote what he saw. And if it was and if it wasn't a vision given to him by the most high, he would have never never made it in the Bible. Which he got to. I have a question. Like would the Israelites who moved out of Israel count as Gentiles? Because like there's some like, <laughs> I ain't that she's gonna be speaking like that. Some people from Gad moved out and then they went to Rome. And then okay. Okay. First Corinthians twelve two. Yeah, I ain't know she finna start speaking yeah. like that. You. She just she just broke some stuff down in the Bible just like that for you. Uh, I'll pray. That. That's the that's the most uh, high man. Uh, First Corinthians chapter twelve this verse two. Is like for real. That ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. See, Paul was telling the Israelites, hey, don't forget, y'all used to be Gentiles. First Corinthians because you follow after the Romans. You follow after the Greeks. You follow after the Babylonians. That's also proof to prove that that's to my See, every time we were in the captivity, we picked up those habits and those cultures of other people. And we start living like them. You see what I'm saying? That's why y'all for me with this, uh, the, the Apocrypha. That, that, that's the Bible. Those are the books. That the red book. I got another. Here's the book of Ephesians, chapter two, and verse eleven. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are uncircled, are called uncircumcised by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh, made by hands. That at that time you were out Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. See, now what he's saying, y'all, y'all, y'all. That's just what the She's so stiff necked, like, man. We try to talk to her. Living like the other nation. Stiff so necked. If man. we saw somebody living like the so called white man, we would call them a Gentile. It would be Gentile like to keep the New Year. All right. It would be Gentile like to celebrate Christmas. We never did those things. Oh, praise it. Hey. Halloween, all that. That's good. All praise it. Uh, <laughs> that, that's, now, when you see Israelite people it. on this side doing that, guess what? They're Gentile. Gentile state of mind. We're living like Gentile. We don't celebrate Christmas or Valentine's Day or Halloween. They might be seven day Avengers. I mean, uh, what is it called? Stuff is in the Bible. They something. None of that stuff is in the Bible. Praise the Lord. So, the people that eat pork. So you said, uh, do you mean they're not going to be saved? What I'm saying is, they have to repent from eating pork. What if they don't, they keep eating pork? If they keep eating Are pork. Are they going to be saved or mm -hmm. they're going to be saved? Give me three. Ephesians 5 or 3 again. Give me all. Um, I think he read that. He read that. Yeah. Facts. Hey, 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Right. The temple. The, the book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 3. But fornication and all uncleanness, pork, or, pork is unclean, all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among.